It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hello guys, hope you're all having a great day. Um, thanks for joining and uh, I've got a craft beer review here for you today. This one's by the Wild Bear Brewery. I believe it's the first uh, beer that I've tried from this brewery, so uh, I'm excited about that. I picked it up from Morrison's for £2.50 and it's also in the four for free deal. And the beer is called Pogo Fruit Owl. Oh yeah, it'd be interesting to see what fruits they are. Can wraps are pretty basic with sort of a splash of um, like orange through there. So I'm expecting the beer maybe orange. Um, it's 4.1% ABV, so it's uh, on the weaker side of the spectrum. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd give this one a go yet yeah, as I've not tried it and um, see how it goes sort of thing. It's a 440ml can. So uh, anyway, let's uh, get it open and uh, get in there for some rim sniffing action and uh, check out the aroma. Oh. Fucking hell, that has gone absolutely everywhere. That could not wait to get out of the fucking can, could it? All right, let's just uh, cover that up. I don't know why that's gone so mad, because it's been sitting in my fridge for the last couple of days. Uh, uh, yeah, it must just be excited to see me. Cool. Lost a bit of the beer there, a bit of a waste. Anyway, <laughs> let's get the aroma. <laughs> Smells very, very fruity. Uh, bursting with passion fruit for me. Uh, like citrusy zestiness in there. Some guava. Uh, bit of mango. The main thing I'm getting is passion fruit though. It's very, very passion fruity and very, very juicy indeed. I must say it smells lovely. It does smell lovely and juicy, but it doesn't smell like a beer. But there you go. Where does it get to the point where craft beer is no longer a beer? It don't, certainly don't smell like one. Anyway, let's, let's get it in the can, shall we? Oh dear, I can't believe how mad that went. It's developing a nice head as well. It must just be quite a uh, excitable beer. There we go, she's all in. Has got a decent size head. Um, it's, uh, look at that carbonation that going absolutely nuts. No wonder it couldn't wait to get out of that can. So I'll be careful of this one because it definitely wasn't shook up or nothing like that. Look at that, it's going absolutely mental, that carbonation. One of the most carbonated craft beers I've seen, as a fact. Matter of fact, you've got a nice sort of a foamy, bubbly uh, white head. Um, that's, that's kind of like a golden ambery colour. Oh, that carbonation is mental. Uh, there are some little bits of sediment in there. Nothing to write on about. <clears throat> anyway, let's uh, get the taste test in there and see what it's all about, shall we? But um, it does smell extremely fruity, so I'm quite excited about it. Cheers, guys. Let's see what she's all about. Definitely something different. I like it. <laughs> it's got kind of a medium to light mouthfeel to it. Very fruity. I'm getting uh, a citrus zest in there. Kind of like in the background, I'm getting tropical fruit. Oh, very compact carbonation. It does help to push the bubbles around nicely though. There's some guava there in the background as well for me. And like orange, but more of a like a clementine orange. Or like, you know, like the syrup you get in the... Um, Tinned clementines. Tastes a bit like that. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad though. It's got quite a lot of flavour for the ABV. I would have liked to have been a bit stronger. I think it really would have helped to uh, give this something to a, a sort of uh, right home about, you know. I am getting passion fruit. 
but for me, not as much as on the aroma. The aroma was very, very passion fruity. Whereas the actual taste, it's sort of more in the background with the guava. But it's all right. There's definitely lots going on. Definitely lots going on. Also getting like a caramel malts in the background as well. No real bitterness on the end at all. It's more of um, like a zesty, slight zesty bitterness just to sort of balance the beer out a bit. It is reasonably well balanced. Um, <laughs> definitely well carbonated, as my table knows all about. Good lacing on the glass. Yeah, it's quite a good beer. It is, it's nice. Mm. It's not amazing, but it's just, it's different. It's, it's not how I expected it to taste, which is, I think, sometimes a nice thing when you get that little surprise element to it. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to go, score-wise, let's get this last bit down. Yeah, I'm going to go for... Seven point eight out of ten. I do like it. For me, it needs to be a bit stronger just to really take it up to the next level. And uh, I'm not quite sure about the fruitiness for me. There could be some artificial naughties in there. I don't know. I'm just getting that feeling about it, but especially with the um, the uh, orange. It's more like a like I said, the tinned uh, clementine sort of juice for me. Uh, but that could just be how it tastes. Maybe they do use, do use real clementines or whatever. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's coming from the hops, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I'm not convinced. But overall, it, it does taste nice. It's very fruity. Um, it's very, very smashable, easy to drink. Sort of a nice hot day one, you know. It's um, very sessionable, 4.1% as well. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend this worth a try. £2.50 is not a bad price either in the 4 for 3 deal. So for that price, I, I think it's pretty good. Um, I just It could just be a personal thing. I, I prefer a bit more strength in my craft beers personally. But if you do prefer the more around the 4% mark, uh, you know, this will be for you, I reckon. And you like a bit of a like mad different fruits going on and all that. I wouldn't exactly call it a juice bomb. Uh, but yeah, it does have a lot of different flavours going on in there, which is nice. Uh but yeah, I just think by increasing that ABV, it just the bits become a bit more, all the ones in the background might come out to play a bit more, you know. But anyway, please smash that like button, guys, if you've enjoyed uh, the video. And uh, hopefully, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, darlings.